to my YouTube channel. My name is Magenta. Magenta nailed it. And today we're just gonna go on. A, I'm just gonna take y'all with me on my little a day in the life. Well, not really a day in life. I'm not really about to do too much. I actually need to go to the um, to the nail supply. I got some um, a few items that I need to pick up that I've been procrastinating on. I really, I don't go to the nail supply too often because it's way up north. I don't know, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get there on a good day. So when I do go, I try to get everything that I need. That way I don't have to keep running back and forth. And then for the stuff that I don't buy at the nail supply, I just order from my Amazon. I usually order like my rhinestone or, you know, like all my little art from Amazon. And as far as like my uh, real important items for nails, acrylic, monomer, you know, polish, and all, all that stuff I'll get from the nail supply. So right now, you know, I just left the house. I'm about to go to Dunkin' Donuts to get me some coffee. I cannot start my day off without a cup of coffee. If I wake up in the morning, and getting coffee is not on my number one to-do list, then today is gonna be a it's gonna be a bad day. So I'm about to go get my coffee so I can liven up and then we're gonna roll out from there. So I know I drink my coffee a very, very specific way. So what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to comment down below how do you like your coffee? go to Dunkin Donuts, how do you drink your coffee? And what kind of coffee do you drink? I might want to try something different. Let you get a taste. Taste, taste. Do you know the taste? Yeah, that's cool. Being like me. A lot of girls like me. Like, wanna fight me. Fight with your, with your check. Like, check. Like, me. Now I see that's me. Oh, you said you have no food? No, ma'am. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. They said they have no food. <laughs> What's today? Today is Sunday. It's like 9, 9.30. I ain't got no food on Sunday at 9.30. Fuck you, man. I guess. Uh, that's what happens when you live in the hood. Thank you. All right, have a good one. I'll be having to taste my coffee when I pull up before I leave. Because sometimes they don't be right. Oh. What? Uh, this is not made correctly. It was supposed to be two creams, four pumps of hazelnut swirl, and two shots of espresso. Oh, two shots of espresso. Okay, well, I only tried to use one, but I already made two. But just this time, okay? Okay. Yeah, so, right. two, 
two creams, four hazelnut, two espresso. See? That's what I'm talking about. Every time I come to this Dunkin' Donuts, they messes up my order. I'm starting to think they doing it on purpose. Yep, but can I have a big straw, please? Yep, I don't even want to waste it. All right, thank you. Have a good one. putting stuff under the acrylic I was talking my nail tech through that shit because that's a, that that wasn't something that was big back then but I knew what I liked so I go to the shop and I had my own little dollar and I told his name was Tim 
I'll never forget Tim because that was my first nail tech and he rocked it with me. I told Tim, I said, Tim, put this under the nail. And it was a piece of money. And back then, the nail shops didn't use, well, the nail shop I went to, and I didn't know nothing about no acrylic. I just knew what he had. Uh, the acrylic wasn't clear. The acrylic was uh, natural. So now we got this crystal clear acrylic. So when we do an encapsulated nail, you see right through it. We didn't, it, we didn't have it, or he didn't use that. So when he did my little money nail, it looked a little foggy, you know, but it was still cute. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. He tried to do, you know, what I wanted him to do, and he did the best that he could, but shit, by me being 15, 16 years old, my grandma really wasn't, she allowed me to do, you know, what I wanted to do, but at the same time, nails cost money. So it was either not have no nails or learn how to do the nails yourself. So I, I took the, the scenic route. <laughs> I learned how to, I started learning how to do them on my own. I got all the little supplies and you know, it's something that I've been into for a very long time. Like I do it and I'll stop and I'll do it and I'll stop. And, I'm 31, so it's like I started having kids at 18. Um, and even throughout me raising my kids, I always start doing nails. I keep up with all my supplies and my equipment, and then I'll stop. Life will happen, you know? Shit. I didn't, at the time, I was impatient, you know, because I had little ones to feed. So as far as taking the time out to slowly build a clientele so my income can elevate I needed money now so I did what anybody would do I went out I got a job you know I went into the world I got a job and I worked I've always been a hustler so money you know I ain't gonna get all into that but yeah I worked a job and it's not it wasn't until a couple years ago when I was able to slow down, you know, husband, my kids is getting older, I done got a stain on my shirt, damn, fuck the coffee, man, you know, my kids start getting older, I'm getting older, and it's like my, my patience is starting to elevate, and I'm starting to, you know, what God has for you, you can't take it away from you, you can try to suppress it, you could try to have from it, but it's like no matter what, it's still going to like, it was like a burn inside of my stomach. It's like I knew what I had to do. I knew what I should have been doing, but at the same time, you know, I, I took a different path. But for some reason, because when it's for you, it's for you, I was led back into, into what I was supposed to do. So I still, me already kind of knowing how to do it, you know, I invested in better um, products invested in myself i.e. went to school um, and I turned it into a full blown business I mean I make a, a nice living off of the clients that I have and I still take new clients I uh, have a lot of recurring clients and it's something that I wouldn't do any differently because at that time when I had started first started getting into it my mindset wasn't focused I was young I was stupid I was ghetto if a client had talked stupid to me back then I probably would have fought him now you, you learn about customer service you know you learn about people you learn about keeping a customer happy and when I say keep the customer happy I don't mean dumb yourself down to a goofy and let these people walk all over you and talk to you like you're crazy but I mean do what you can to please you cannot please everybody but you can try so if you know that you have done everything you can to please that customer and no matter what they are still unhappy then that is not your customer and that's it but I wouldn't have known that back then I would have been real hot-headed so right now I'm happy that I'm into it the way I am because I know how to deal with people I know how to talk to people. Um, I have a very open communication with my clients and I I feel like me being open with them will allow them to be open with me. That way nobody is walking away unhappy. So if you see that I'm doing your nails and you're not happy, my clients aren't scared to tell me that. Magenta, can you? Mm. 
This one a little crooked. Yeah. And then, you know, we'll roll from there. But you always got these timid people who will sit there and let you do their nails. And then when they get home, they don't like them and they want to blast you on social media. So have an open, a open and upfront relationship with your client in the beginning. So they ain't got to be timid like that or scared to, to tell you what they like and what they don't like. That way you don't have to deal with that. And remember, all clients are not your clients. And it's funny because I learned this, that saying right there, I learned from my, uh, from my nail instructor. I learned that, that that saying right there from my nail instructor that all clients ain't your clients. So let's say I got, I'm right here at my table and I got four clients for the day. You know, I got my little four clients sitting out there in the waiting area and they, they're my four clients. But then my, my, my co-worker next to me, she joking. I mean, every day she humping. She got 16 say 16 because that's unrealistic well what am i saying i don't know let's say she got eight clients for the day i got my little three four clients for the day and i'm sitting over here like why can't i have what she get you know why because them her clients she worked for those clients the two three four clients you get those are your clients you can't want what the next person get you don't know what she did to get those clients you don't know what rapport they have with each other because you might, she might be off work one day and one of her clients need their nails done. Now they done set up in your chair and this is the client from hell, okay? So never look at the next person and wonder why you don't got what they got. Just work on you and up in what you got. All clients ain't your clients. When you find your clients, you'll know. I'm at the gas station and I've been sitting here for I don't know how long, so I need to pump me some gas, y'all. So, give me a second. Let me get my stuff situated. Yes. Alright, y'all. I got my gas. Got my coffee. Got my donuts. I can talk to y'all a little bit. Okay, so. Okay, guys. So I just got into into the city, and I just wanted to give y'all a nice little clip of our skyline. Um, I live right outside of Chicago, so right now I am downtown, and I just like no matter how many times I drive downtown. It is always, always a beautiful scene. Right now we are on Lakeshore Drive. And this, this street right here is where a lot of memories are made. <laughs> Shit, where I'm from, on a nice, nice summer night, people just get on this street right here just to drive up and down, play some music, smoke.
Okay, y'all, so I have finally pulled up to the nail supply and we are here. So I'm about to go in and get some of the items that I need off my list. And I'll tell you what I get. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. much so what i'm gonna do i'm just walk up and down the aisles and i'm gonna show y'all you know what they sell which is everything so everything you can think of polish acrylic If you like glam and glitz, I have everything. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go around the other way. Lately, I've been using not polish acrylic, and I, I like the colors. So this is the not polish section. So many colors to choose from. It's crazy. Okay, so, so far, I picked up a few acrylics from the Not Polish collection. I'm getting G13, it's a glow acrylic. I needed to get a few more nudes. So I got first nude, Touch of Lips. And I also have a pretty, um, should be like a milky white. Excuse me. Okay, so this brand right here has a lot of pretty, like, uh, glitter mixes. Real pretty. So I usually get my glitter mixes from this collection right here. This is why I don't come to this store too often, because I got a list made, and I'm supposed to be buying the only thing that's on my list, and here I am looking at acrylics so let me come over here and get what i'm supposed to do so i need some top coat i wish i could flip the camera around while i was doing it okay so i use uh the kiara sky top coat i usually get this one no white top coat um i also need some callus remover because i do do pedicures so <sighs> this is the callus remover that I use. What else I need? Oh, I need buffer blocks. Okay, so this is the file section or buffer section, I guess you could say. And I like to use these pink buffer blocks. They're like 25 cent each, so I usually buy about 10 of them at a time. Three. Give me some buffer blocks. What else was on my list? Oh, I need gloves. I ran out of gloves. $22. Oh, see, now they price gouging. These these gloves used to be five bucks. All right, I'm gonna have to see if they get my size. Okay, so I'm waiting on him to bring me my gloves because they didn't have a small on the shelf. So I just want to show y'all some of the stuff that they sell, some of the brands. Uh, they got Harmony and Easy Flow. Um, Beauty Strike, they do sell uh, Young Nails, um, you know, all type of different, they, they sell all type of stuff, like all the name brands, the big brands, the little brands.
if you do like foot services they sell you know all type of lotions and scrubs small yep thank you these are the gloves that i use i wish they had them in pink but they don't and i always get nitrile gloves and i don't use latex gloves because you never know who has a latex allergy so yeah anyways these are lotions and foot scrubs i don't know if you have a full service salon but they also have like waxing waxes if you offer wax services all type of stuff all type of stuff here's more foot scrubs Ooh. excuse me Ooh, i'm gonna go that way thank you okay so over here this is where they keep their nail tips i'm gonna go around hopefully i can get in here okay um i do use these nail tips but if if I do extra long nails, I use the ones that I order off Amazon. But they have all different types. The ones that I actually use are, what are they? Here they go. I use the Lemoor Natural. And they are like, what, 50 cent? Ma'am, how much are these a piece? 55 cents so they 55 cents for each little bag and i think the bag comes with 50 nails in it so when i buy them i use about two or three each size just so i don't have to keep coming down okay. so over here they have towels eyelashes <laughs> SNS. I've never used that before, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a dip. Uh, they keep liquid back here, um, aka monomer. Man, I wonder if I should use this. Clean armless. Anybody ever used this before? Comment down below if you used the armrest like this before and tell me. If your client, oh shoot, a petty rest. What? Pedicure, foot and leg rest. That might be nice. I might have to th think about getting that. Oh, so these are where they keep all the, you know, reusable bottles. I use these. If you. They keep the practice hands here. Petty slippers. More practice hands. Um, all type of colored acrylic and dipping powder. If you use D&D, they got all type of D&D. They got the whole collection, to be honest with you. Let me see what else. Excuse me. Uh, oh, we got more loose glitter. Oh my God, there's so much to choose from. This is crazy. Okay, so up front is where they keep all their brushes. Acrylic brushes and cleanup brushes. Um, I need a cleanup brush. Oh, here we go. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see this. There we go. This is what I use to clean up like when I'm polishing. And they only like a dollar, so I usually buy a few of them. 
Can I have a size 12? Okay, so I'm getting another 12 in the Sophia Kalinske. Can you pinch it? So they actually pinched the brush here for you. And I believe the number 12, let's see. The number 12 is, uh, I don't know, $13 maybe? Is that $15, something like that. You. This is the nail glue, nail glue that I use, KDS. I think it's like 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How much is this? Uh, $3.50. 10 for 10 bucks. and some change. Oh, this is probably $2. I know. Y'all didn't want up. They used to be $10 six months ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy them all the time. That's crazy. Let me get a discount. Okay, so this is what I got. I got a box of gloves. I got callus removal for my pedicure clients. Some quick dry spray. I got some receipt booklets. Some buffers. A few of the not polished acrylics. Um, I got a new brush. Because my other one is starting to get clogged up. And oh, a few clean up brushes and some top coat. They sell everything. $137. Crazy. They taking all my money. All right, y'all, I did good. I stuck to my, well, I kind of stuck to my list. I got a few extra items that I wasn't supposed to get, but I got them anyway. Didn't spend a lot, only spent like $137, but it was my items that I need, and I'll get that back with one client, so I ain't tripping too much. So now I'm about to go ahead and get in the car, say bye to the nail supply. Bye, nail supply. And I'm about to go, I don't know, probably go home and then take my kids out to eat a little later because it's real early. It's only like, can't be no more than 11 o'clock. I don't know. But, all right. Okay, y'all. So I just left the nail supply and I got just about everything that I needed. Um, I got a few items that I didn't necessarily need, but I did want. Um, a lot of my clients like ombre. You know, so I tried to get a, a few new, you know, different colors. Uh, so I got about four colors from the Not Polished Acrylic Line. Um, I try to, lately I've been trying to write a list of what I need because I have a bad habit of going to the store and buying a whole bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily need. So I wind up spending more money than I have to. So I stuck to my list pretty well. The only thing that I've Get, get, you know, what it's supposed to get was the acrylic, but it's all good. Um, I spent about $137, which is not bad. You know, I'll get that back off a of client. But, uh, yeah, I don't buy, like, nail art as far as rhinestones, nail decals, stickers, you know, all the little artsy stuff that we love with nails. I don't buy that from the nail supply because, honestly, it just costs too much. So I usually buy stuff like that from Amazon or um, if I see a website that I like, I'll, I'll order from the website. Of course, you're going to have to wait for shipping, but I mean, that's just what it is when you order in online. And um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for tuning in to my channel. Thanks for rolling with me to the city, to the nail supply. I appreciate you all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting nail tutorials, um, nail hauls like I just did, uh, client cams. So don't forget.
again, just turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a beat. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for rolling with me. I'll see y'all later.